There's not one secret trick to achieving the highest rank in fighting games. It's a bunch of small improvements that add up over time. This can be learning more about the game, improving reactions, improving combo execution, optimizing your strategy, and much more. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at gameplay from three different ranks and counting the number of mistakes in each match to see if the theory is true and to help you achieve masters. So I feel like first we have to talk about the rank system, right? So a lot of people, you know, see people streaming or, you know, see YouTube videos and they see, oh, people are master. Like I'm master. I have like eight masters and they're like, oh, no, like I feel so far behind. Realistically, the vast majority of the player base is not master, right? They're not even S++, they're not even S+. The average rank is probably B rank, right? So first of all, like don't feel bad if you're not masters. There's a lot that goes into being good at a fighting game and the vast majority of people are not masters. All right, where are we at? So replays? Is there a way to tell like, oh, I see. We just scroll down until we see ranked. Until we see ranked. Until we see ranked. Bro, you never play ranked. Oh, okay, you got, you got cooked by Zoe? Wait, not, not, in the, not in this stream, you can't be getting cooked by Zoe. So A ranked is a little bit above average, right? So it means obviously this guy's put a lot of work into this game already, uh, but we'll see what he can optimize for, right? And Zoe's one of those characters that if you do not know the matchup, you're gonna be suffering a lot, right? <laughs> so I'll try to also point out things that could be a little better. Now this replay system is still very scuffed. Okay, here's the first mistake. Grimner can actually do a jump light as he falls down and that will actually counter hit the stand heavy from Zoe. So I assume he tried to do that, he just messed up. As you can see, the Zoe messed up their combo, they messed up their Oki. Um, you can do dash light there for uh, pressure, but it never combos in the stand medium, so usually you don't want to do stand medium. Usually you always want to do stand light because it gives you the most frame advantage. So I'll count that as a mistake as well. That whole sequence was really messed up. Doing throw after a minus four move is generally never good. Okay, he just did auto combo into nothing. Not sure what that was. Uh, that's your turn. So anytime Zoe does the late uh, spin, you can press a button, you'll counter hit her. She'll almost always take your turn after that because who cares if you eat all, all DP. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Uh, you should be using Guard Cancel just to get her off of you. You both have three diamonds and Guard Cancel is very, very important. Uh, wake Up Super is very, very bad in this game. Just a heads up because you can do a meaty jab and it blows it up. Um, Okay, that was pretty good. Um, that I, I'll call that like a mistake on both ends. One, um, that dash down from Grimner is minus two. You tried taking your turn, assuming that the opponent didn't know, but the opponent supered for no reason. They, they could have just jabbed you. Um, okay, this is 100% gimmick. This is not gonna work above S rank. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you straight up. That's a move that's minus four on block. You're doing a throw. This opponent just doesn't know at all. So end your block strings in something like Tornado or just don't cancel, right? To bait out something. Well, why are you running away? Sure. Okay, that was a very, that's actually a pretty good 6-6-H uh, from Zoe, but he, he could have got a full combo off that. Um, you tried the same exact gimmick and you got punished. You absolutely deserve that. That was the most cringe thing ever. And you didn't even punish? Oh no. That was so, such a cringe mix up that you didn't even punish. So in general, like in this game, every single super is punishable. Like don't just back off, right? Yeah, you could have dodged that one. Basically on most supers, you just hit dodge and then you can hit a button or you could just do dash late um, and then combo from that. All right, you're taking your turn back when it doesn't actually exist. No, you just did the same exact thing again. No, you did there's so many good things you can do with Grimner. Oh my God. Okay, okay. Well, you got the round somehow. Okay, and uh, yeah, I like this. This is what you have to do. That. So this was good. This was good. You throw the you back off, throw the fireball, get the seals out. All right, now Zoe has to guess, right? You did that really well. Um, and Zoe's like panicking. Okay. But sometimes you just need to hold your ground. You don't have to use the seals right away. That's your turn. You could have pressed. Um, 
that's yeah again so finally the zoe player called you out for mashing on minus frames generally you shouldn't use that seal there because there's no point right so if you do auto combo into a minus on block move there's absolutely no mix-up you're literally just giving up the turn but if you do auto combo into something that frame traps or auto combo into nothing and backing off there's a lot more mix potential there um you could be spot dodging as dragons oh no and now you're dead because uh yeah you have to react and this guy got the right combos. Okay, this guy dropped the combo. All right, that was Zoe's ultimate DP. If you just blocked there, you could have actually killed him. You could have actually Grimler has combos that actually kill there. I don't know. You just you probably never seen that, and you just took the hit instead, I guess. So as you can see, I don't know, chat, how many how many mistakes were made? Maybe 30, 40? You get the idea, there's there's a lot of misplays here, right? And some of this, of course, is if you haven't played the game that much, there's a lot of information that you just don't know. And so I, if I had to guess, Gran Torino probably didn't know that that Zoe DP fell down like that. He probably didn't know that the late spin move was actually minus unlock and he could have took his turn. And then some of the other tech we talked about, there's a lot of information that you have to play the game, you have to study the game in order to learn, right? And so when we go to our next replay, um, we'll take a look at someone that's S rank. So obviously S rank is a full rank higher. And I want to show you guys the, uh, the difference in the number of mistakes that are made. All right. Okay, so pretty decent pressure to start off with, right? Six, six player knows this combos, that's good. As you can see, like an actual bread and butter was done in this. Um, that was pretty good. There's there's some more optimal steps you can do. Um, if you want to get closer, you have to do like a different follow up beforehand. But kind of kind of the right idea, right? Because if you're gonna do an empty low of six, you wanna um, you wanna actually like be able to convert off of it. All right, this is pretty good. Um, I'm already noticing like a lack of. So okay, there wasn't that many misplays, right? As you can see, S rank. There were a few though, and they were kind of all in strategy, right? So one was absolutely no guard cancel is used, right? So dying with three diamonds in this game is super cringe. Like it's literally just a free resource, right? So you should have represented guard cancel way earlier in that round. And then also you kind of just chose the same option every single time on defense, which was block. So you have a DP. You can also react to like stuff like EX fireball with the DP. That's obviously hard, but you can also just represent DP, right? Okay, that is fake. That's something you have to react to. Like the six player should never be doing that because there's a lot better options off of Rekka. Especially like if you're going to cross up, like why would you put yourself into the corner? That was really bad on them. And like that's something you just have to learn to react to. Okay, that's fine. You take that. Again, you need the guard cancel, need the DP. Uh, roll is okay in this, but you weren't in the corner. So there's not much reason to roll. There's much better odd wake up options like delay tech, mash. Wait, wait to block something, guard cancel. Okay. All right. You, you did the right combo. You dropped it, but whatever. Okay. Nice. Oh, you can hit him from that. Okay. And very good on the six player to guard cancel out. Nice. And uh, you should. This is going to do a lot of damage. Oh, you should be dead, actually. Yep. 5H and you're. Oh, you got the optimals and you're dead. Wow, um, so as you can see, we only went from A to S, and we went from like 30 mistakes in the match to honestly less than 10. Um, if you look at this, right, obviously like the VR player had some red reads, didn't hit confirm a couple things, and had to use guard cancel, because if you don't use guard cancel in this game, you're actively super trolling, and there's only like a couple drop hit confirms and combos, right? All right, so Swords vs. Grand. Um, it's good we have a Grand here, right? Probably one of the most popular characters played online. Or Swords. This is interesting, right? So obviously, fireballs are quite good against Swords. They stop the dash punch approach. But at the same time, like, if he used to be spot dodges, you have to be really careful of the dash punches. So that kind of that game going on. All right, that's fine. He wastes all his plus frames. Nice confirm. Okay, looks good. Very good wait, right? He waited to see if the ultimate skill is DP. So you can already see the iteration offense. Like the, the option that Odd Toaster chose was uh, pretty high level, right? Because he recognized Soros has potential alt DP. I don't want to risk that. So I'm going to go for delay throw. And Soros was doing the option select where you hold down back, you press raging strike. And if they happen to do a normal, you guard cancel that, right? 
Okay, why is no one in that submitted a replay using guard cancel? I, I guess guard cancels are illegal today. <laughs> Again, died with three diamonds. All right, I like it. Rush down. Um, I would probably choose something a little bit more aggressive there. There, you kind of like try to make a reversal on a character that doesn't have a reversal. Oh, so one thing you should do against Sora's is his dash punches aren't that plus. It's actually really beneficial to sometimes like stick out a bun after you get hit with a dash punch. All right, I like that DP. Very good representation. All right, that's fine. Yeah, just block this out. I uh, don't want to press after that because that's that's pretty plus. Oh no, this is cursed. All right, he dropped the combo because he didn't do it right. And you're dead. Oh my God. So these S++ matches go by pretty fast, right? With just one air and boot. There's certain matchups as grand. You want to be using boot a good amount because they like space you out. But to me, Swords is not like a boot matchup because your normals are better than his, right? So you can kind of like zone out with fireball, zone out with normals, get him to sit still and then dash out, right? Obviously, uh, you know, that alt skill fireball is very, very good. Nice. Okay, I like the representation. Yeah, that was... Oh, you could have you could have exploded him for that. You could have done 50%. Instead, you just got to throw, right? All right. We got the optimal B&Bs. Yep, yep. Right combo. That's the combo in the Grand God. I like the pressure. Yeah, try to bait reversal. Try to bait reversal. Okay. Go for some plus frames. I, li I like this. Very nuanced pressure. Uh, still, I would have guard canceled. So I, to me, I value guard cancel a lot when they're close to the corner. So I would have probably guard canceled like one of these EX moves that guarantee a uh, guard cancel. Okay, so you can you could spot dodge there, you can DP that on reaction, you could super that and he'd be dead. Whenever Sora's has that 50 meter, I'm always like buffering a super or like I'm always like looking out for it, right? Alright, there we go. Finally a guard cancel. Oh, that's fine. He took it back. I Oh, okay. Ah, uh, you could have hit confirm that into uh, Raging Strike. That's a, that's a pretty easy hit confirm when you see that whiff. All right, I like it. You just keep it, keep it a little casual. Oh no! You had a bad read. You had a bad read. He had a pretty good read on that. Those supers are pretty risky, right? Because if you just do dash L back off. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty that's pretty unfortunate. All right, good jump. I like that. I like that representation. Oh, he had. Ah, this guy's just reading your habits, right? Okay, that's that's actually punishable. You just didn't react in time. Nice. Oh, you have to hit confirm that. Yeah, you should. You should have guard canceled earlier. You didn't have to take. You look how much chip you took, and you gave him all that meter, and now you're dead. Yeah, I think he could have killed with a guard cancel. I mean, yeah, and he shouldn't have jumped there. So yeah, I think um overall that looked uh pretty good. I think a lot of the offensive decisions were good. There's more nuance in the gameplay. Really just came down to having a few bad reads and not utilizing guard cancel, and that's mostly it. I think you could have got away with a little bit more fireball, play a little bit more patient against Sora's, try to make him like whiff, because you kinda like went in on him, which it makes sense for Gran, but at the same time, like your neutral's better than his until he gets 50, so like you could have like play a little more patient make him overextend but at the same time like you see compared to the a rank this had a lot less mistakes in it all right so let's take a look at literally the number one ranked player right now in the world which is ify um as you can see even they lose matches and i the whole point i want to stress is even for myself even for the number one player in rank currently everyone makes mistakes okay nice dp so he actually dp that on reaction we we're kind of talking about that before Uh, that alt skill is very, very strong. I think like as you go up higher level with Lil Wayne too, you're going to be relying a little bit less on the supers because they're reactable. You're going to be using more of that move because that move is actually like crazy. Again, immediate setup. Oh, an immediate spot dodge. And he's, of course, he's going to kill number one ranked player in the world. Yeah, no, no chance you're not killing there. Okay. Oh, he, he tried to, he tried to beat the throw. Uh, very good. 
Yeah, good pressure. I think he's doing that just to stay safe from EX counter, if I had to take a guess. Oh, he's gonna optimize the damage with a setup too. Uh, he didn't he didn't fall down with a oh no. So that that if I could recognize one thing, it's the fact that uh he guessed wrong on throw twice, right? He thought he was gonna do jab in the throw, and he mashed both times. And uh, you know, that's just a habit that this uh six player picked up on. Very good DX counter, I like that. Nice, okay. Oh no. Yeah, he tried to mash after plus frames. Oh, he got caught with the... Sh yeah, that's that's really good. So when you do a fireball like that, it catches the late tech, it catches the late mash, it catches a lot of options. So six slaves have been going for that a lot. And now you gotta guess. Yeah, delay tech, very good. Uh, one thing that Zloin's doing really well, they're varying the defensive options, right? Between delay tech, uh, you know, guard cancel, etc., etc. Uh, that was an interesting spin. I probably would not have spent this if I were him. Because, yeah, now you're literally dead. <laughs> and, like, you could have used the meter for something else. But, yeah, as you can see, like, there's not too much to criticize about, about what these guys are doing. But there's still improvements they could be making, right? Uh, some reactionary improvements, some routing choice improvements, some better guesses. And, again, I'm not an expert in this game either. There's probably some stuff that these guys don't even know they could be de doing better. And same thing with me. I didn't even recognize they could be doing better. So yeah, I guess the TLDR of this video is you can always improve at this game. And as you get higher up in the rankings, obviously people are going to make less mistakes. And your goal is just to optimize your gameplay as much as possible to go as high as possible, right? Even if you play a character like Luane, supposedly a joke character, you can obviously get to the top of the leaderboards, right? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and peace.